All right, let's go ahead and talk about what these settings do for the cartoon effect. So we can precisely control what's going to happen with our footage. Well, the first thing we have here is the render. And this will allow us to fill, also do edges, and fills and edges. So you can decide what you want to focus on. As you can see here, fill doesn't give you an outline, but applies the blurring effect to the solid colors in here. Edges, of course, does the opposite. It ignores the colors and focuses on the stroke or the fill of the edges. And fill and edges does both. Now we can use this slider here for the detail radius. And what this controls is the radius for the actual blurring operation that's going to be applied to smooth the image before it actually removes the details. Okay, so it starts to find the edges, it blurs things out. We can use the detail threshold on this guy to get some, something like a bilateral blur. And if you go to the effect menu and you choose blur, you see that we have this right here. And this is a very similar effect that you can achieve with this detail threshold. So I go ahead and move this to the right. And as you can see, we get this nice bilateral blur. And when I use the detail radius, I can determine where the blurring occurs and where it decides to leave the lines. Let me go ahead and twirl those closed. Now we have the ability to work with the fill as far as shading steps and the shading smoothness. And we can use, once again, these little sliders here to change how this operation is going to be performed on this as well. So when I go all the way to the left with both sliders, you see that we pretty much have a pop art feeling where we get rid of a lot of the color information. And if we go all the way to the right, we get a more painterly feeling. Now we also have the ability to work on the edge itself. And we can determine by using this slider how thick that edge is going to be, or how thin, or at all if it's going to show up. So it's very, very minute as far as the appearance in this particular image. And it looks like a nice painting, actually. Very cool. Let me go ahead and put that back. And by the way, if you ever mess up, as usual, in your effects controls, simply hit the reset word and it will go back to the default. We can also determine the width of our line. And of course, if you go all the way to the right, it's practically useless. Let me go ahead and close that and reset it. We can soften the line and we can make it more harsh. We can even affect the opacity of the edge. We also have in here this advanced area where we can work on our edge enhancement. And as you can see here, when I go all the way to the right, we get thinner lines, a little tighter and a lot looser this way. We can control the edge black level here. And last but not least, the edge contrast. So as you can see, you can really create very unique effects and you can do all kinds of cool things just based on the sliders themselves. You can also use OpenGL if you can support it with your video card. So let me go ahead and move this open. So if you have it on your system, you can select this. And fortunately, I do have OpenGL, which gives you the ability to see things in your viewport. Whereas if you don't have the performance capability, you'll still be able to work on the effect but you simply won't be using the OpenGL. So that is how we can apply the sliders here to really fine tune the cartoon effect.